Hello everybody, this is Hop to the Hippity Hop bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary and this is a pretty awesome game sent to me by VWSJ. I actually asked him to send me a bunch of great games. VWSJ I think is the leader of the VWS clan and they are a very good clan. They have a lot of high level players, some I think even in the top 200 if I'm not mistaken. That This information could be all wrong. I'm, I'm just trying to remember from my memory. But anyways, VWSJ sent me this replay, and this game is actually in the Craft Cup, and this is game three, I think, round um, round three. I'm not, I'm not sh too sure, but it's it's a best of three game on the Craft Cup, and this is game three. I don't know what happened in the first two games, but it's going to be quite interesting. A little history: VWS actually stands for Victory, Victory Without Sacrifice. And that is what he told me, so that is a pretty awesome name. It looks like uh, Che is going to be going against Loophole, who is a Protoss player. I'm not too sure about um, Loophole uh, or really have um, much information on him. So, yeah, just know that this is in the Craft Cup, which is a pretty big tournament in StarCraft if you're not familiar with it. A lot of high-level players have won in there, such as uh, White Rock. So, yeah. Enjoy this game. It's going to be pretty awesome. Let's bring up the production tab and see just exactly what is going on. Looks like a barracks is coming up as well as a gas, so we're not going to be seeing any funky rush from the looks of it. As well as a gateway um, and that gas as well for the Protoss player. Looks like uh, Loophole actually went in the wrong direction, uh, scouting kind of in the far end. Unfortunately, there is going to be no Terran player there, so uh, so sad for Loophole. But Che is going to be fortunate enough to find his Protoss opponent right on the first run. So here he is, going to be scouting out, see, seeing what his opponent is getting. So yeah, nothing too much going on right now. A uh, lot of, <laughs> a lot of production, of course, a lot of uh, harvest production. And there we go. Loophole is going to be coming in here to see exactly what is going on. Che is getting out of marine pretty fast. Or not really pretty fast. I don't know why I said that. It's coming out pretty standard. Um, and yeah, so far. Nothing, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. There is a cybernetic score. Pretty standard timing uh, from the looks of it. And, ooh, this this uh, probe needs to be careful because there is <laughs> there is a marine out in the fields. Yeah, he's going to be backing up. There is that tech lab getting those marauders really early. Marauders are very good against protoss units, if you do not know. Especially against stalkers. And when you get that slow, they do so much damage. It's a very good thing to get. Look at that second, looks like the second gas is going to going to be going up for loophole as well um, as well as not Che, so Che is not worried about gas right now but he is getting another barracks uh, so yeah so far nothing, nothing too crazy it looks like Che is going to be scouting around for proxy pylons which is a very smart thing you should definitely do if you do go against a Protoss opponent just because those proxy pylons um, help out with reinforcements if the Protoss is attacking and it helps so much so it is definitely one thing you don't want anywhere near your base. And I think he was chrono boosting out that uh, warp gate. There we go. He is going to be chrono boosting that out. Um, placing pylons on the outside of his base, which is a really smart thing to do. Uh, just just in case some kind of air units do come and you can warp in some stalkers. Um, as well as even spot some air units coming into your base. So not a bad idea. Actually, a, a nice spot uh, to place a pylon would actually be somewhere around this area as well. Yeah, but for the time being, there are the two Marauders. Um, there are both Tech Labs on this, so yeah, there is that Slow as well as that Stim that I was talking about. Very good to get. Pretty much needed <laughs> against a Protoss army. And yeah, so far, it looks like a couple Stalkers are coming out, as well as a Robo base, so... Wow, two-gate Robo uh, from, from Loophole so far. And I don't think there is any... Uh, Hmm. No expand. I don't, I don't know if Loophole is going to be expanding anytime soon. Usually it's a three gate robo, but he went for a two gate robo. So not too sure about that. Looks like a third barracks is going to be going up for uh, VWS Che. Or just Che. 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 Yeah, I'm just going to call him Che. Anyways, looks like that probe was able to kill off that SCV. <laughs> Unfortunately, the SCV was just standing there and not attacking back. So that probe is just going to get a freebie and take that Zell Naga Watchtower. Looks like a probe is going to be moving out as well. I think, yep, he is probably going for that expansion now. Or maybe not. He's probably just scouting. 
and that probably is going to be surprised to see so many Marauders coming in. He did move out right when his upgrades finished, so this could mean a lot of trouble for Lupo. Lupo needs to uh, force field on the ramp, and is he going to force field? He needs to force field. He doesn't force field. There we go. So he was actually baiting in some of uh, some of his forces, Chase forces in, so they would die. Very nice play there by Lupo. Actually, um, a Che losing a lot of his forces there. It's a nice play by Lupo. Uh, force fielding just at the nick of time. Uh, killing off a few Marauders as well. Let's just see. I think, yeah, Lupo will be fine now that Immortal is out and Immortal is going to be doing a bunch of damage. I think Che should be backing out and there he is. He's going to be... No, he's actually going to be picking off uh, some of the units and then he's going to be backing out. Nice play there. Picking off another Stalker. Um, still has four Marauders. Nice. Since he does have that slow, he is going to be able to kite these units very easily. Note that he is also reinforcing um, very fast. But yeah, both players are just barely... <laughs> Just, just, they have just a handful of units, enough to take uh, each other out. So yeah, we'll just see who has the better micro here. Pretty much, um, it's a very micro-intensive game right now. No thoughts about expanding uh, so far. Oh, actually, Che is going to be expanding while he is doing this nice little attack here. And he needs to be careful here not to lose too many forces, uh, because Lupo actually does now have those the mortals on. They do so much damage to armored units. I think it's about 50 damage. Yeah, they do 50 damage versus armored units, and Marauders are definitely armored, so they have to be very careful. Marauders' hardened shields also do go up uh, to the to the Marauders' Punisher grenades. Uh, but yeah, from the looks of it, I think Loophole is going to be fine. Uh, che is building up quite a force here, and he's going to be deciding to move up. Let's see what Loophole's reaction is. And he has to be careful. This uh, this this immortal is going to be going down because Che did uh, he did uh, focus fire it down. Sorry, I just had something in my throat there. <clears throat> He's fi focus firing both those immortals down. So yeah, Lupul is in a lot of trouble now. He actually did not uh, block off that ramp in time, so he is now forced to pull off all his probes. Uh, let's see if Che is going to be able to kill off a lot of probes. Let's look at the harvester count right now. Lupul does have 32 probes. And yeah, that actually didn't do too much. From the looks of it, actually, in the unit counting station, yeah, 29 to 30. So Che didn't take out too many pros, but he did take out um, the army. And this is so close. Lupul just needs to be able to take down uh, a couple of these marauders, and the slow is really paying for itself. Being able to uh, slow down those zealots, pretty much kind of them, making it really easy to kill. And now that Immortal is out, and he's going to easily be able to take down these uh, these marauders, and they're going to be backing out now. And what Lupul really needs right now is a sentry. Uh, he really needs that sentry to block off that ram. This is this is pretty bad right now for Lupul. And there it is, that sentry. So Lupul is going to be okay now. And Che uh, attacking and getting his expansion at the same time. That is the sign of a good player. Just know that is very hard to do. <laughs> To, uh, to multitask and attack and um, build uh, build an expansion at the same time. So very good play there by Che. And yeah, Lupo um, is kind of in a bit of trouble. Let's look at the units lost up. Yeah, Lupo is definitely behind, losing two Immortals to that attack. And that was pretty detrimental. He did lose a lot of Immortals. Uh, che doing a great job saving his units. So he, he was actually able to um, conserve as many forces as he could. And yeah, now there are two sentries out. Also two Immortals, so... Both armies looking fairly similar. Lupul just has to has to um, use that force field, uh, or else this whole army is going to be crushing uh, Lupul's army. And Che is just continuing to reinforce his army. He does have a reactor as well as a factory coming up and an engineering bay. Um, man, that is just a ridiculous amount of barracks. And looks like another encounter is going to be happening. Will Lupul be able to force field? Yeah, he does force field, but at the top of the ramp. So what? Immortal actually does get picked off, and that is huge. That Immortal getting picked off was a huge deal. Now, if you look at the uh, years lost time, it's almost half of what uh, Che is right now. So Lupul is definitely behind um, because Che does now have, have his expansion up. So this is looking pretty bad for Lupul. Lupul um, actually does have a robotic space, so he could be getting really, really fast claws out, and that is exactly what he's doing. Um, and that kind of is what he needs. He just has to be careful uh, not to let the Marauders pick off that pick off that uh, claw size. So. Um, Lupo is in a lot of trouble here. He needs to be careful. He really needs to get some sentries out. And there, more sentries are going to be coming out so they can block off the ramp. And Che is just building up a massive army. He is now on two base, uh, if I have not mentioned before. So he is pretty much way ahead, especially in the income tab, as you can see. 
And nice force field, but still letting in a couple units. So that was pretty bad there, actually. Almost losing another zealot, so nice play actually blocking off, but yeah, that force field uh, could have meant spelt a lot of trouble. That Colossi is now out, but it's gonna be a little too late. That force field, ah, uh, that force field was a little late, uh, forcing a bunch of units to come in. And actually, Lupo was able to clean up this force, but he did lose that Colossi, which does cost quite a bit of minerals. And yeah, I think Che is gonna be able to just walk in here and take down uh, Lupo's army. So nice play by Che, extremely aggressive. Very nice, actually being able to attack and expand at the same time. Very nice play there. Um, Lupo actually, one thing he did miss was that one nice force field. That pretty much cost him that game. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was pretty much to the wire. Uh, che did a great job actually picking off the units that really need to be picked off, such as those Immortals, uh, as well as the Colossi. Nice play on both players' parts. And yeah, all these probes are going to be coming down to try to attack. But yeah, pretty much at this point, there is... Uh, I don't think there's really much Lupul can do. Yeah, there really isn't anything Lupul can do. And yeah, that timing push was just so great. Getting the stim as well as the Marauder slow. Um, and moving out right when that was finishing. So yeah, great play overall uh, from Che. And yeah, pretty much we're just waiting for the GG now. All these probes are coming off the line. There really, uh, there really is nothing Lupul can do. And you know, this is this is a tournament, so you really want to just stick to the very end and see if there really is hope. And I think um, that was actually pretty valiant of Lupul to do that and just throw everything at Che. But unfortunately, he was just not able to win. So great play by Che. I do have a lot more uh, games sent to me by Che, so. Just look forward to them. He is a great player, and I'm excited to do a lot of casts for him. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it. So this is Hop StarCraft, and I'm going to be hopping off. Thanks, guys.